Satya is saying, what is the consequence of an enlightened person ending their own life? Consequence? Yes, this is a very bad consequence. Just like any other person committing suicide, killing themselves, uh, as a bad consequence. Uh, first thing, enlightened person is not going to end their life. He is not enlightened that means, isn't it? Not enlightened at all. There is no knowledge there. Stupid person. So, whomever, you know, Buddhist monk was a politically oriented fellow, isn't it? And he was criticized by other monks for too much involvement in the world. <laughs> you see, these Buddhist monks, they can be like a rock. They can be stone-hearted sometimes. Especially the Zen people. Looks like they have no heart at all. Instead of sympathizing, they are laughing at this. Yes, because stupid, isn't it? Not enlightened at all. If you have the knowledge, you will utilize your human life. If you want more knowledge, you will come here again and again. There is nothing wrong in human life. Is What is the problem? You are repeating the same suffering. That is the problem, isn't it? Nothing wrong in humans. You can come here to enjoy. Come here to watch the show. Like I told you, this is a very grand show going on here. So, yes, just kill yourself because some political stuff happened. That is stupidity. Yes, they will be stuck. There will be consequences. And nothing to worry. He will be born again and he will get the knowledge again. It's nothing to worry. But uh, it will be delayed by a few thousand years. Now, who wants that kind of delay? You cannot. If your flight is delayed by half an hour, you become really impatient. When I say few thousand years, uh, then <laughs> it is a disaster. Because you see, there is something called the lower worlds. You kill yourself and you have no place in this physical world and not, no place in the higher world, obviously. Uh, then you end up in the lower worlds, the Narak or the ghost realms, whatever they call it in English, I don't know. What is called in hells? Hell, hell is probably too religious, but uh, there are lower worlds and they get stuck there. So they need to evolve back here. Or if his, his guru is very kind, the guru will go there and bring him up. But I don't think there is a shortcut here. So an ordinary person commits suicide, it's already very bad. A spiritual person, it is kind of impossible for me to imagine. You know, how can a spiritual person do that? So it's a corrupted form of some kind of practice. Shushant is saying, actions are triggered by causal body. With same logic, suicide would happen. Why would this happen? Yes, you see, you are right. There is impurity in the causal body that is causing this thing. It is just impurity. Whatever we call as affliction, mental disorder. So sometimes it is a consequence of your present karmic issues. You acquire it in the present lifetime. But if you are born suicidal, <laughs> and there are people like this, that means the societal tendency is continuing from the previous lifetimes and these people have a defective causal body. As I said in the last meeting, the afflictions, they can go into the higher layers. It is possible. They are stored there forever. The phobias and all these things, you know, people are born with these things, so there are defects in the causal body. It is not impossible to treat them. It is possible to treat. You need a doctor who has a who has an access to the causal body. Very few are there. You can imagine, not, not any normal doctor will be able to do that. You need access to a few things. You need access to the other side, like we say. The doctor who can treat the higher layers, who can clear the afflictions from these mental layers, has always has a assistance from the other side. You know what is the other side, non-physical side, isn't it? So, we have this kind of assistance. If you want, you can develop it. And they are called the Guru field. They will show up if you want to treat somebody. Uh, although it is not guaranteed, you see, it's not, it's not guaranteed. Uh, yes, but if you are committed to the spiritual paths, then uh, many people are ready to help you. They are sitting there. Their job is to help seekers. Why don't you ask? Simply ask. The defects in the causal body also can be removed. You need simply some assistance. While being physical, we, are, we cannot even see what is there, isn't it? We cannot see our own causal body. The software there, lots of software. So only software engineer can, 
can do the job just call the second level and you will be given some assistance benjamin is asking are all sufferings precious gems for seekers since they gracefully highlight the ignorance very good question see you can uh, use a knife to cut the vegetables and you can use a knife to cut your finger also isn't it suffering is like that use the suffering for you you can use the suffering for uh, jumping into the spiritual world or you can just cut your own finger with it just suffer forever so they become a precious gem only when they are used in this way like a tool jumping platform for the next level of evolution we can use them because what is a suffering showing suffering is showing a defect if you can see the defect and if you can, if you can clear the defect a sudden evolution sudden jump transformation but if you keep suffering no i don't want to go to the guru no i don't want a spiritual path no i'll just suffer here somebody else is responsible for my suffering so i'll just take revenge again and again and again and that means you are cutting your own finger and this will never end the suffering so there are lucky few who can uh, see that their suffering is their own doing and that they do the self correction and they seek the help of a guru don't be shy you see, seek the help His help is here isn't it? and then that uh, suffering can be utilized like i said you if you can see your what kind of ignorance is causing my suffering and it is my own obviously i am the one who is responsible for my suffering and that now becomes tool and that is why i say you know people come on the spiritual path because of these two reasons one is suffering and second is curiosity curiosity you can say is a small kind of suffering is a refined suffering what is curiosity i don't know tell me tell me tell me i don't know it's a uneasiness of not knowing a suffering <laughs> very very refined suffering so there can be many kinds of sufferings and uh, we can utilize some of them and then get rid of the others you see not really necessary they are useless once you know that it is, what is the job of suffering you have taken advantage of it then you need to let go of it don't keep suffering because i need to evolve more no 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 there is something called path of suffering where the evolution happens because you are suffering and there is a the proper path of spirituality where where we consciously evolve you don't need suffering to evolve isn't it intelligently consciously with awareness we evolve with intention you know, intelligence means use the intention to evolve not the suffering use the tools use the guru use the knowledge use the scriptures use the prayers use the non physical use the tantra whatever is your thing use it don't suffer satya singh when there is suffering the intensity in spirituality is high yes urgency isn't it urgency <laughs> those who are suffering they just rush into spirituality 